Good Tuesday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversations with Daily News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. We have your news headlines coming up on this Tuesday. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Teganovich, and in today's entertainment spotlight, being part of my conversation with Jeffrey Tinsley, the CEO and founder of RealMe, discussing dating online safety. Enjoy today's program. For Conversations with Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Tuesday headlines. In Mississippi news, Governor says Mississippi data supports Delta variant as pandemic of the unvaccinated. The number of new COVID-19 cases continues to surge in Mississippi. The Mississippi State Department of Health reported 6,912 new COVID-19 cases and 28 additional deaths on Monday. The new cases were from the three-day period of August the 6th through August the 8th. 13 of the deaths occurred between July 29th and August the 6th. 15 of the deaths occurred between January 29th and August the 2nd and were identified from death certificate reports. Keep in mind this will translate into about 500 new hospitalizations in the coming days and we have zero ICU beds at level 1 through 3 hospitals and we have more than 200 patients waiting in ERs for a room. State Health Officer Dr. Thomas Dobbs said in a tweet on Monday. Dobbs and other state health leaders have said the new spike in cases is driven by the Delta variant. Governor Tate Reeves retweeted information Dobbs shared Sunday that said 97% of all new cases are in the unvaccinated. It was recently said nationally that the Delta variant was becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated, Reeves said on Twitter. The most recent data from Mississippi suggests the same. Talk to your doctor. Do the right thing for you. Do the right thing for your family, he tweeted. Mississippi leaders are urging people who are not fully vaccinated to get the shots. They are also asking older residents and those with underlying health conditions to talk to their doctor about getting a booster or third shot. In more COVID-19 news, COVID vaccines would be required for military under new plan. Members of the U.S. military would be required to have the COVID-19 vaccine beginning September the 15th under a plan announced by the Pentagon Monday and endorsed by President Joe Biden. That deadline could be pushed up if the vaccine receives final FDA approval or infection rates continue to rise. I will seek the president's approval to make the vaccines mandatory no later than mid-September or immediately upon licensure by the Food and Drug Administration, whichever comes first, said Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin in a memo to troops warning them to prepare for the requirement. He added that if infection rates rise and potentially affect military readiness, I will not hesitate to act sooner or recommend a different course to the president if I feel the need to do so. To defend this nation, he says, we need a healthy and ready force. Austin's plan provides time for the FDA to give final approval to the Pfizer vaccine, which is expected early next month. Without that formal approval, Austin would need a waiver from Biden to make the shots mandatory. Biden has made it clear he supports that. In national news, infrastructure push slowed by Tennessee Senator's objection. One by one, Democrats and Republicans trekked to the Senate floor on Sunday, touting a $1 trillion infrastructure proposal and argued that, after months of haggling, it was time for a final vote on the measure. Standing in their way, Republican Senator Bill Haggerty of Tennessee. The freshman senator spent the weekend using a procedural maneuver to essentially grind the chamber to a halt. A final vote that could have happened days ago could now linger until the early hours of today, forcing lawmakers to give up their second consecutive summer weekend to plod through the minutia of Senate rules. More than a dozen Republicans have joined Democrats to clear initial hurdles on the infrastructure bill, meaning the legislation will almost certainly pass despite Haggerty's protest. But the effort could raise the profile of a one-time Trump administration official eager to align himself with the former president who has stepped up efforts to derail the package. And more national news, Michigan police cuff black real estate agent and client at home. Police in West Michigan handcuffed a real estate agent, his client, and that man's 15-year-old son after a neighbor wrongly reported that the three black men were breaking into a home. The agent, Eric Brown, told the television station in the area that the police response August the 1st in Wyoming included two of the five officers who drew their guns, felt aggressive, and threw me back. I felt pretty anxious or nervous or maybe even a little bit scared about what do I do to protect myself if I'm going to show a home 
and the authorities just get called on a whim like that, Brown said. The department said in a statement that Chief Kimberly Coster reached out to the three offering to meet with them and with any other family members. And finally in entertainment news, Marky Post, TV veteran actor of Night Court, dies at 70. Marky Post, who played the public defender in the 1980s sitcom Night Court and was a regular presence on television for four decades, has died. Post manager said Post died Saturday in Los Angeles after a years-long battle with cancer. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's on time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Tagamas. Mary Ellen, take it away. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Heal with harmony. When you feel uneasy about family disturbances, or societal misperceptions. You feel powerless to do anything about them, want to release these troublesome situations. Focus and infuse them with love. This will aid in the healing of any situation you might see. Your calm and loving attitude will begin to attract more harmonious energy. This soothes your frustration, leaving a healing calmness within you. Focus on love and harmony in any relationship or problem. It is easy to forget how powerful our thoughts are in resolving any type of misperception. Lift your thoughts above the turmoil. Stay focused firmly on love and harmony. Initiate a powerful process of healing, not only for yourself, your family, and your friends, but also for our society and our world. Today, allow the flow of harmonious and loving energy into your thoughts. And remember, enjoy your day. Jeffrey Tinsley of Real Me is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight, right here on Conversations Daily News. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Jeffrey Tinsley, the founder and CEO of Real Me, joined me recently on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about the importance of online dating safety and what Real Me is doing to help. Here's a bit of our conversation. Yeah, this is an important conversation, Jeffrey, because as I said, you know, even before the pandemic, I mean, all of us were spending a lot of time online and online dating definitely was there before. But now, of course, people are more concerned about, for one, their their privacy, but also making sure that they are, you know, are being able to surf safely, especially when it comes to dating. What has it been like for you, Jeffrey, to see the way that Real Me has been able to meet that challenge? I, what's been going on is pretty amazing. Um, you know, as you said, we, you know, everybody uses a variety of different kind of services in order to connect with strangers online. During the pandemic, that's only increased dramatically, right? All the dating services are actually doing quite well, for example. The real problems have really surfaced in a big way as of, as of late, though. Uh, people are getting hurt out there. When you're dating online, it's not necessarily a safe transaction, a safe connection. And uh, so what we're, you know, what real me is trying to do, of course, is make dating safer for everyone to reduce some of the things, like you said, scams, fraud, it's all on the rise and worse. I mean, there are even horrifying stories about even, you know, worse outcomes that I don't even want to describe. So, you know, everybody needs to, to be really careful when they're out there connecting with strangers and when they're especially dating online. And that's what we're trying to, to help with. What was it that you saw that made you say that Real Me was needed at the time? Ah, that's a good question. So we really um, started out by conducting a lot of surveys, nationwide surveys, to understand what's been going out there for on out there for consumers, right? And we found some shocking information. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning into this edition of Conversations Daily News. But we'll have you guys on tomorrow's more news. Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Saganovich, and of course the Entertainment Spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make it a great one.